Hello people, this is the Geekazoid, bringing you another video tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to install the Beast Build onto a fresh install of Kodi. Now the Beast Build, or any kind of build for that matter, is basically a pre-configured version of Kodi which you install on a fresh and clean install of Kodi. Now it's a two-stage process. The first stage with the Beast Build is we have to go onto the Beast Build website and register an account. And the second stage is to install Kodi and then install Beast Build onto Kodi. Uh, we're going to be carrying this installation out on Windows 10. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. From the desktop, what I want you to do is click on Internet Explorer. Once you've clicked on Internet Explorer and your home page, wherever that might be, loads up, I want you to click on the top address bar. On the top address bar, I want you to enter this link. It will appear in the video description below this video. Once you've clicked entered, you'll be taken to this page and this pop-up will appear and I want you to click on close. This is the registration page of the Beast Build website. You have to carry out this registration before you can actually install the Beast Build onto Kodi. Now, as it says under the register, it asks you for your name. Just go ahead and enter your name in there. And then in the email, you can enter the email. And guys, do enter a legitimate email. Uh, it won't work if you enter uh, a fake email. And in the password section, you can go ahead and set the password. Remember, you'll need to remember the email and the password you assigned. Click on register. Once it asks if you want to remember or save the password, click on no. And then it'll log you out saying thank you for registering with us. Please log in to continue. And you want to click on the login text. And then you want to enter the email and the password you've just assigned to your account. So go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm centering my details. Okay, and then go ahead and click on login. Once you click on login, you'll be taken to this page. On this page, as you can see on the bottom, it says your name and your email address that you registered with, but it says verified, and there's a red button underneath verified, which says verify here. I want you to go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, it will log you out again, and then it'll say your email address has now been verified please log in click on the login text to log back in it'll come up with the login window again and go ahead log in with the registered email and password okay and then go ahead and click on login now that you've logged in a third time, you can see on here where it says verified, there's yes underneath there. You have to check to make sure it says yes. Once it says yes, you can go ahead and close Internet Explorer down by clicking on the X. And then click on close all tabs if you've got more than one tab open. This will take you back to the desktop. Once you've gone back to the desktop, you've done the first stage now. Now the second stage is to install Kodi. Click on Internet Explorer navigate on the address bar and take yourself to Google. Once you're at Google, you want to type in Kodi and click on enter. It's the first link that appears which says downloads Kodi. You want to click on that and it'll take you to the Kodi download page. What you want to do is select Windows because we're installing onto Windows 10 and click on the text which says installer. Once you clicked on that, as you can see, it'll start to download. Once it's downloaded, I want you to click on Run. Once you click on Run, uh, authorization would appear on your screen. It isn't appearing in the video, but you need to click on Authorize and OK. And then this window will appear, will appear. Click on Next. Then click on I Agree. Then make sure it's a full installation. And then click on Next. You want to leave the installation path as the default path. And click on Next and then click on Install let it install once it's installed you can go ahead and click on finish okay we have now installed a fresh version of Kodi you can go ahead and close all tabs 
okay now what we're going to do is make a shortcut of the Kodi icon onto the desktop so what I want you to do is click on the start icon or the windows icon and then go on to all apps and then scroll down and find Kodi it'll look like a folder click on Kodi and then drag the Kodi icon onto the desktop and this will automatically create a shortcut of Kodi on the desktop Okay, once you've done that, what I want you to do is click and open Kodi. So click on the icon and let Kodi open now. And you're going to give it a couple of seconds for Kodi to update. It will definitely update. As you can see here, it's updating. Whenever this happens, stop what you're doing and let the software update itself. Okay, so nearly done. That's updated. So what I want you to do now is go and mouse over system. Go down to file manager and click on it then click on add source It'll, you'll be given this window in this window I want you to enter this link here okay once you've entered this link I want you to click on done and then I want you to give it a name on the bottom call it beast and then click on done then click on ok as you can see now beast is installed there. just to check that you got the directory correct I want you to double click on it and these options should appear that therefore confirming that you've entered the correct URL then I want you to click on the home button to go back to the home screen mouse over system this time and go to settings click on settings then click on add-ons this window will appear just click on OK and then what I want you to do is click on install from zip file and then find beast and click on beast and then I want you to click on download this beast.zip once you clicked on that as you can see the beast wizard add-on is enabled that shows you that it's installed what I then want you to do is click on the home button then I want you to mouse over programs and then click on programs then as you can see the beast is showing up on there I don't want you to click on the beast just yet what I want you to do is mouse over it highlight it and then click on the letter C on your keyboard once you do that this menu will appear on this menu what I want you to do is click on add-on settings once you click on add-on settings you will get to this window here on this window as you can see it says email and pass on the email what I want you to do is enter the email that you used to register on the beast website and on the password I want you to enter the password that you used to log in on the beast website that you did earlier in step one once you've done that I want you to click on OK now what I want you to do is now double click on the beast wizard once you do that this icon will appear and then I want you to click on the beast avenger August 19 the latest one and then it'll say downloading now this can take 5 to 15 minutes depending on your internet connection once the wizard is installed then the extraction phase will start thus this can also take up to 10 minutes once that completes it'll tell you that your device needs to be powered off so you need to click on OK and then you need to click on OK again to force close Kodi once you click on that Kodi will exit and take you back to the desktop I want you to re-click on Kodi to open it and there you go you have now successfully installed the beast add-on for Kodi so you've got the beast build it's got the movies music TV shows live TV go ahead and explore in your own time like if you like this video dislike if you dislike this video leave a comment below this video for any questions you might have thank you for your time and thank you for watching